the advantage of using a recycler view over a list view is that you can arrange the views I mean display the views in different formats so you have the option to either display it vertically like a list view then you have the option to display it in a grid format you know like like you have seen grid and then you have the option to display it as a staggered grid let me show you a uh, show you an example so this is the list view for you know displaying the different android versions and the same thing can be displayed using you know a grid view so here you have a grid of elements which are basically boxes arranged next to each other so that's the beauty of using and then you have this staggered layout also available so in order to use this concept it's it's pretty straightforward actually so in the last video you saw how to use a you know a recycler view with an adapter and the same in in the same class that you created the material design the material activity class you just need to add a linear layout manager if you plan to use a linear layout and it's easy to create um, you just create an object of this using the activity reference and then you set it as a layout manager in your recycler view okay if you plan to use grid layout you can do the same thing you can use grid layout manager here and then you know you repeat the same process so that's the way uh, you can use either of the approaches uh, whichever uh, suits you sometimes you need to show the list vertically sometimes you need to show the boxes next to each other like you might have seen a shopping app for example so depending on the situation you can use a different layout manager uh, to, enha to enhance your view using a recycler view I hope this clarifies the layout manager concept go ahead and check the code uh, it's available on github and I'll see you in the next class. Okay, bye.